the winner of the boys 16 to 18 age division, Zach Van Gogh. He had a two day uh, total of a 159. So we're just going to ask him a couple of questions on you know, how the game went this weekend and everything. Um, so I know you were in first place yesterday. So how did your strategy go about um, coming in today to try to stay in first? Um, well, coming today, I didn't want to try and shoot just the best score I could, as I usually try to do. I was just trying to stay in front of the two players I was playing with, because I knew they were two, the only two people really close to my score. So I was just trying to stay ahead of them and try to just stay ahead. That's good. Um, so what do you do typically to prepare and practice for an event like this? Um, I usually go to the range about four days out of the week, um, just in a normal week. So just try to stay consistent as I can with how I practice, yes, pretty much. Yeah. Awesome, yes. um, and I know that last week you played with us at the Houston tournament, um, and you actually were most improved, so it's awesome. So how do you go from you know being most improved and actually winning this tournament, and how do you prepare for like, the upcoming week? Um, well, in that tournament I had just a blow up first day, and I played really good the second day, so. I guess it was just the first day of that tournament that kind of threw me off in that tournament, but in this tournament I just played consistent both days, so I didn't have to try and shoot a really low number the second day to try and get into contention. That's good. Um, so who would you like to thank at the end of all this? Uh, my coach Josh, my parents, and Stonebridge Golf Club. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're here today with our 11 to 13 boys age division winner. He shot a 156 two-day total, and this is Trey Morse. Um, I'm going to ask him a couple questions just to see how he was able to win his age division. Um, so first, I just want to see what, um, how he changed his strategy up. I know yesterday um, you were kind of behind a couple strokes in first place. So how did you come into today? Um, I try to stay more focused today. And, uh, just. After yesterday's round, I worked on some swing issues in practice, and um, it helped today. That's good. Um, and then, are you planning on playing in the future Hurricane Tours? I should. Mm -hmm. I should be playing at the Hurricane Cup if I qualify this year. Nice. <laughs> and then, um, how did it affect your game today playing for the Cup tomorrow night? It was fine. It only affected me on like one hole, maybe. I managed to stay through it. Not too it bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, and who would you like to thank at the end of this? I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my family, and my friends, and my grandfather for coming out this tournament. Okay. That's good. Lots of support. Um, so, just like to thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with the winner of the girls 14 to 18 age division, Julia Simon. She shot a 154 two day total, which is awesome, of course. Um, so I'm just going to ask her a couple of questions. Um, so what was it like coming into today? Um, I know yesterday was beautiful weather, um, and then today we had some sketchy winds at about 15 miles an hour. So how did that affect your game? Um, it didn't really. I'm kind of used to it because it's windy at my home course, which is a little bit down the road. But um, it didn't bother me too much. It was just kind of scary because I was playing with two really good girls. So. Absolutely, and it was super tight competition going on. Yeah. And I know that you were in third place yesterday, and I know there's about a four-stroke difference in first and third. So how did that affect your strategy coming into today? Uh, I didn't expect to win, so I was just trying to maintain third, really. So it didn't really. I was just trying to stay playing consistently, and it worked. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Consistency is great. Yeah. Um, and then what does it take for you to practice for a tournament like this? Um, I don't really know. I don't really know how to practice yet. Like, I'm trying to get down the regimen, but I practice the same way for every tournament. I just try and come out as much as possible and play the course and we'll see what happens. That's good. And is there anybody you'd like to thank at the end of this? Uh, my parents, I guess. <laughs> you guess. For being supportive, as annoying as they are. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, congratulations again. Uh,